Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the digital register, parallel in and parallel out type. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic, digital register, the type is parallel in and parallel out. Data is given parallelly and taken also in parallel. The shift register uses parallel input and parallel output is known as parallel input parallel output shift registers this shift register include three connections only the parallel input parallel output and clock pulse the data is given parallelly taken as parallelly using also it uses the clock pulses this kind of shift register also work like a time delay device or temporary storage device like siso shift register with the time delay being changed through the clock signal frequently. So we are giving input parallelly, taking the uh, output parallelly. So by using the time delay, we can take it as a time delay device. By using the clock pulse, we can make it as time delay device because parallel input, parallel out, nothing will be there. So the, by using the clock pulse, we can use a delay. Also we can temporarily, we can store the device also. Now we will refer the circuit diagram. So this is a circuit diagram, this uh, shift, this register constructed by the D flip flop, it is constructed by D flip flop, there are four flip flops available, this is a clock pulse, this is a D input and QA output, right. in this D flip flop, what is the nature of the D flip flop, the input D, present state, next state, so in D flip flop, the next state is depends upon the input D value, it will not depends upon the present state, whatever may be the present state, the input will be reflected in the output, next state of the D flip flop. Suppose for D equal to 0, whatever may be the present state, the next state also 0, D equal to 1, whatever may be the present state, the next state will be 1, D0 mean next state will be 0, D1 means next state will be one whatever may be the present state so that is the advantage with that we are using the digital register so what is the data we are entering input will be available at the output input and output both are same the input what we are applied will be reflected at the next state of the flip-flop that is that's why we are using the d flip-flop to construct the shift registers here four registers four flip-flop available flip-flop one two 3 and 4. So this is the data given parallelly. All 4 flip-flops we are used, we are supplying the data parallelly. Similarly the output is also taken as parallel. QA, QB, QC and QD is the 4 parallel outputs. So let us consider we are going to use the data 1101. Right? We are going to use the data 1101. Initially all the inputs are 0, Input are the, all the inputs are 0, then we are parallelly we are applying DA as 1, DB as 1, DC as 0, DD as 1, because what we need is 1101, one, one. what data we need that is given to the respective inputs of the D flip flop, the same thing will be available at the output, QBA will be 1. DA1 means QB also 1, DB is 1 means QB also 1, DC is 0 means QC also 0, TD is 0, 1 means QD also 1, right. So parallelly we are giving the data, parallelly we are taking the data. So that is done by the clock pulse. So by using the clock pulse, we can make this device as a time delay device. If the clock pulse duration is very long mean time delay, delay between input and output and also it can be used as a storage we can store the data in this four devices four flip-flop right the circuit operation is simple what we are supplying that will be available at the output that is the nature of the D flip-flop the input will be reflected at the next stage of the flip-flop whatever may be the present state I will see the description of this circuit the circuit diagram of 
parallel in parallel output shift register is shown below the input allowed by this type of shift register is parallel and gives the parallel output input also parallel output also parallel this logic circuit is designed with a four d flip flop as shown in the diagram we know that four flip flop d, d type so input and output will be same for that we are using the d flip flop right some more description available there is no interconnection between the individual flip flop all are individually connected there is no interconnection because no serial data shifting is necessary right there is no interconnection right so data enters here and data leaves here data enters and data leaves there is no interconnection only the clock pulse is interconnected now we will see the some more description and logic logical table if we take the input is 1101 which is loaded in each flip flop 1101 Initially, the output will be become 0. Initially, it is 0. If you apply the first clock pulse, then the data will be shifted from input DA to QA, DB to QB, DC to QC, and DD to QD. So that the output will be 1101. While applying 1101, after the first clock pulse, this data will be, the input will be available at the output. So that we will got 1101 as here output this truth table is available clock pulse zero clock pulse zero initially we are applying zero zero all are zero zero in the first clock pulse the input is given this one one zero one is loaded in the flip flop so that same thing will be reflected as the output qva is one qb is one qc is zero qd is one right after applied the first clock pulse the output will be reflected at the output now we will see the waveform clock pulse. So this is the clock pulse. Initially all are 0. QBA, QB, QC all are 0. After the first clock pulse, the DA, the flip flop, first flip flop will got 1. Second flip flop also 1. Third flip flop 0. Fourth flip flop 1. So this QBA will be higher, QB will be higher, QC is lower because of 0. QD will be 1. After the first clock pulse, the same thing will be reflected at the output. 1101 is the data what we are transfer or the data what we are storing. So in this video, we discuss parallel in parallel out type of shift register. The circuit diagram constructed with the D flip flop. The input what we applied that will be reflected at the output. So due to that, we are using D flip flop for the constructing the register. And we discuss the truth table as well as waveform. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.